There you are. Hi there. I can't tell you how happy I am to see you. I want to get back to sleep, but it's so late. I'm not sure about getting back to Adachiko alone. I'm very tired. I found myself continuously nodding off on that bench. Oh, yeah. <laughs> My hair is thin and stringy when I let it be. I should have brushed it when I was waiting. Hold out, darling. I need to go home, darling. I'm not gonna stay with Sekimoto chan tonight. Oh, I can't ask you to do that. I can't ask you to do that, darling. That's too expensive. that of you darling but I do have my pajamas in my bag and I could go to like a capsule hotel and just get some rest but I'll pay you back when I can as soon as I can darling let's see what's around here mm, yeah there's a cheap capsule hotel like a kilometer from here probably overreacted, but it was just a weird thing. I fell asleep under Sekimoto-chan's kotatsu, and I was watching TV, and at some point she started watching her weird videos, and uh, something about it made me really uncomfortable. Well, I'm not sure why it freaked me out so much. I think it was only on there for a few minutes, but I don't know. The one thing that struck me about it is that his voice sounded so familiar, like deja vu. It worried me. I wish she could have been doing this with me in the room before. That's true. You can't just start believing something if it's told you a bunch of times. I've seen some ads dozens and dozens of times, and it's no big deal. But... I know this is a little bit more creepy. Obviously, he's not wanting me to buy a product. Sekimoto Tan gives this guy thousands, uh, hundreds of thousands of yen, probably. Yeah. She is having some personal struggles with her rent. I've heard that she's taken out credit cards to pay her rent and utilities so she can give all that she uh, makes at the pet store to him. She told me that the money for Koyuki, my new sweet birdie, thanks again, darling. Um, but that went straight to him, and she makes a lot of commission. It wouldn't matter, darling. She would still be the same way. You didn't do anything to cause this. In fact, you're doing so much to make me feel safe right now. And before you came by, I was scared and alone. You never really know how much that means, darling. I don't know if I'm gonna stay with her again in the near future. I'm probably not gonna see her again until my birthday, darling. She should be more normal in a normal party environment, right? Thank you, darling. I, I never kick her out of my life, but I just need to be careful. I don't wanna end up in her whatever but darling you don't know Sekimoto-chan in school she isn't weak either she was stylish and an independent kyaru in high school she had like a goofy ponytail and was always cheery and athletic and she was really good at gymnastics too I wish you could have met her before all this I feel guilty that yet interact with her while getting my gift. You're right. Hopefully this phase of her life will end soon. Anyway, 
What were you up to tonight, darling? Work friends? You never talk about work friends, darling. I'm sure it's a musky boys club, but still it makes me curious. What do you all talk about? That makes sense. And that's smart because going out with work means that you can have the business pay the bill, right? I'm glad you have a group to hang out with, darling. I guess that's one thing I don't get from school. When you get together with someone in your school, it's for studying only, and I don't have time to socialize with them. I do, and I've made some friends there, but still, work is something you spend years and years doing, while schoolmates can change with each semester. That's probably true. I'll try. It's just a lot to think about right now. Yeah, thanks again for the walk. I know I've already thanked you several times, but it still means a lot to me. Yeah, this must be it. Let's go inside. It doesn't look like it's staffed up here this late. Here's a kiosk right here. I may be able to reserve a capsule from that. Oh, okay, I get how this works. Let me see what's still open. Okay, darling, does this look okay to you? I have to say real quick. Okay, great. Let's go upstairs. Hmm. <laughs> well, I was just hoping that maybe... I, I don't want you to be home crazy late either, but it would be so nice after the cold walk just to snuggle for a few minutes. I mean, I love you to the moon impact, darling, but no, I'm, I'm just cold. I think you would help keep me nice and warm. Um, my pajamas are in a um, neurotic or anything. I think we can, well, you know, it would be fine. Yay, thanks, darling. Brush my teeth first. Here I am. Let me scoot in there real quick. So I could take it to Russia and still be nice and warm. I mean, it would be like a light just sleeping under them. That makes sense. You 
you're like a sheep with a wool coat, darling. <laughs> Absolutely. I just have this one jacket. I'm so bad about underdressing in the snow. I'm always ready for spring to start again. My birthday is like halfway through the winter. So I feel like when I have my party, I'm halfway done, which is always nice. It's a nice marker, but I need a nice coat like yours to keep me set in the first half of the winter. Oh, um, the half when I don't like it because it's too long between Christmas and my birthday. But it always drags. Can we just stay in the little pot together until the 31st? And then I can pop out and celebrate. And I'll have hibernated like a bear. Well, actually, um, on the 29th, because the 31st is a Monday this year. Uh, that's probably when I'm going to have my party. Oh, it's too comfy. I want to kiss you again. Mm, darling. I do wish you could stay, but that's not allowed. No, 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 not like that. I just don't want you to go because you're my eater right now. Oh, that's true. And it's so late anyway. Go ahead if you need to, darling. I won't make you help me with anything else. I get it. Go ahead and get home yourself, darling. I'm sure your parents would be worried if you weren't there in the morning. I won't, darling. I know you're always willing to help. You're a genuinely nice person. I won't hesitate to call if I'm in trouble again. Sure, I can do one more. Okay, good night, darling. Please be safe. <laughs>